Cette belle jeune femme souriante a vécu l'enfer. Elle en a fait un film choquant, édifiant. Norvégienne, née de parents pakistanais, Iram Hak a payé cher son désir de vivre comme les ados de son âge. Par peur du camp d'Iraton, ses parents l'ont fait kidnapper et emmener au Pakistan pour qu'elle y soit rééduquée. Elle n'avait que 14 ans. Avec ce récit autobiographique, Iram Hak signe une œuvre entre colère et apaisement qui évite le manichéisme. My father, after 25 years, he got ill, he got cancer, and he was going to die. And he said sorry for everything, and we became very close friends. And that was actually while I was writing the script. So that was a very interesting time because I got the chance to dig deeper into his emotions and why he did everything. I could ask him all these questions. And with my mother, it was different. She never really understood what she did. Uh, and I can't really blame her. She was so into what other people think instead of being caring about me as her daughter. So I don't know the statistic, uh, but I know there is uh, hundreds of girls and boys who get sent back home to their parents' home country during a year. And it's a problem we have. I chose to live a very different life. I chose to live my life uh, as me. And that was a new, new way to go. And I have a child by myself. So I had to find my own way how to, how to be mother, how to be free and how to give the freedom to, my, to the next generation in a good way. So all have, of course, been a challenge, but also a life I really wanted to live. 